Come let us have a personal experience Come let us touch Feel and see Come let us have a classroom in the wild La 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 This is the wild class Hi class, welcome to Lewa, a place that has always conserved wildlife and is now considered a world heritage site. Lewa is also protected to give home to the big five and others whose habitats have been destroyed or they've had their relatives killed. So class, come with me, let's go learn a few things in our very own wild class. Come on. The zebra has a small black stripe with a white underbelly that makes it very different from other zebras in the world. Wild class. Uh, welcome to Lao Wildlife Conservancy. My name is Epantas Mogo. We work with uh, Jonathan and uh, we'll be having Marine Neville with us in the trip. So welcome and I'm going to show you where we are going to spend the night. <laughs> us to start where we have the boxes here. Whatever we get from the kitchen, which can lot, as we mm. said, today we'll be cooking, we'll be, maybe we'll be eating bananas, maybe we'll be eating meat, I don't know. We are going to bring it here. Uh, if it is there for one month, we can easily return it to this second box. And then in this box, it also stays for one month, then we also turn it to this box. And when it is in the last box, something very interesting that you realize, it is is soil. And if there is one thing that we can see, there, there's a lot of things here that, is this something that we know? Yes. What is it? Bone. A bone. So a bone can also lot. So bones, uh, with like rice, we can, can know a lot. So the time they will be getting here, maybe the period of three months, then it will already have produced manure, which you use in the garden. And that is how we use our waste that we generate from the kitchen. In this bed, we are growing crops using a system called drip irrigation. Called what? Drip irrigation. Drip irrigation. And uh, drip irrigation, we don't need to bring pour a lot of water here. We use a small bucket and we let the water flow by gravity slowly. And it is called drip irrigation because on the pipe, when you lift the pipe, you can see the water dripping, dripping down on the trees. And uh, because the water that drips there is enough. Okay. Let's talk about this iconic species. The lions, the lions, the lions that are very endangered and okay. we have the population going down and down as a result of human wildlife conflicts. Yeah. Elephants being migratory yes. and uh, heavy grazers, people uh, tend to, because, because of increase in population, uh, now these animals find it difficult to cover a wide range as mm. they used to do before. We have the gravis zebras as well, gravis. yeah, that are found in the northern part of Kenya. Okay. The rhinos as well. Okay. People kill the rhinos because of their, their, their horns. Okay. And that has, uh, that has led to 
uh, serious decline in their population. This particular rhino here was killed in 2013, December, by some poachers. And the poachers took the horns away. Wakati alikuwa mewawa, she was pregnant. That is the young one of a rhino that was, uh, whose mother was killed before he had the opportunity to see the world. The gestation period rhinos is 16 months. So if we kill rhinos, na ile muda inachukua for rhinos to give birth, tunapata ya kwamba idadi yao inazidi kupungua, sindio? So just like I said, people kill rhinos for the horn. Ile pembe inakuwa hapa. And the horn is used by people in other countries like China and even Vietnam as medicine. Elephants can live up to 70 years. In their lifetime, their teeth fall. So men wakati meanguka, mara ya kwanza maybe at the age of four to six, mara ya pili, ya tatu, ya nne, up to six times. The sixth, sixth time ikianguka, unapata ya kwamba ndovu, ile menu haita mea tena. So when that happens, elephants are now not able to feed. And they become emaciated, wanakuwa uh, malnourished, alafu, wanaanza ku that is natural death. So that is the size of an elephant's ear. It's that large to cool the body. But elephants have a unique ability. Elephants are able to communicate with other elephants over a long, long distance. What attracts the bees? Nani anajua what attracts the bees? Najua ya kwamba, kama vile tulikuwa tumekuja leparwa kwa chukua pale, niliona kuna mizinga ya nyuki, sindio? Yes. Munaweka nini hapo ndiyo nyuki wakuje? Kuna wale ambao wanachanganyisha, wanatengeneza hii syrup, tunachanganyisha sukari plus some things, alafu nyuki wana, wana, wana kuwa attracted na hiyo smell. Alafu wakikuja wana, wanafanya nini? Wakati wanaanza kukula, wanapata, ah, kumbe kuna hata, hata nyumba mahali karibu hapa, sindio? Kiangalia huku chini, this lower box here, hapa ndiyo queen anaka. And then, huku juu ndiyo zasa tunanza ku, tunapata wengine, ya, like you can see, the worker bees hapa wako, wako kazini, hapa wana, wanaendelea kufanya kazi, trying to raise the young ones, alafu tunaona wako in the process of making the honey. Sindio? So, hii ikija, tunaiza ungeza ingine hapa. So, this kind of hive, unapata ni raisi, population ya nyuki hapa ikiu, ikizidi. We just remove the lid, Naongeza nyingine, and then we add another one, and another one, mpaka ineza kuwa mrefu. How many have come across snakes nyumbani? Either kwa nyumba or around the house. And what did you do to the snake? That type of snake is very harmless. Hiya ina shida na binadamu. Instead, hiyo nyoka hiyo tunaona pale, hiyo utusaidia sana in controlling rodents. Kama vile panya tukonazo nyumbani. Giraffes feed on what? Hmm? The le leaves like these ones here. Yeah. Utaona kuna ndege ya mejenga nini pale? Yeah. Mejenga kiota. Do you know what they do? While living in this plant, they use this as their shelter. Hapa ni kwao. And then they get food from this. Sawa sawa. Yes. How do they help the acacia plant in return? Wakati kwa mfano wewe ukija uanze kucheza hapa, you will start shaking this, indio? When giraffe comes to feed on this particular plant, they start shaking, the branches shake. Alafu unapata hawa ants wanaanza kufanya nini? Kutoka. And they start biting, indio? Wakati wameanza kuuma giraffe all over, atafanya nini? The giraffe will give, a, give, give up and, and move away. Sawa sawa? Yes. So they act as security to the plant. Yes, we welcome, we welcome guests and we welcome pupils because right. our conservation education program yes. is actually to help people understand more about these animals Thank you and so their much. habitat. Thank yeah. you so much. You're welcome. According to us, yes. in the field of conservation, we mm -hmm. consider almost all species important okay. because they play, each and every individual play a very important role in the ecosystem. Okay. Why do you consider them so important? Why we consider these species so important? Mm. 
First and foremost, I'll talk about tourism. Yes. Because most of the time when tourists, both local and international, mm -hmm. visit protected areas like Lewa Wildlife Conservancy, most of the animals they want to see are the ones we are talking about. People come here to look for elephants. People come here to look for rhinos. Mm -hmm. People come here to look for lions. People come here to look for gravis zebras. Actually, most people consider gravis as beautiful. For the gravis zebra, um, Lewa has the largest single population, approximately 300 to 400. Mm -hmm. Yeah. so much yes that very was very welcome. very educative okay. and uh i hope more pupils will come to have a look uh, at your conservancy yes we welcome we welcome guests and we welcome pupils because right. our conservation education program yes. is actually to help people understand more about these animals thank you and so their much. habitat thank yeah. you so much you're welcome hi class thanks to lewa we've learned so many things today i hope you've learned a few things too and I feel like a bank of wildlife knowledge right now. But it's time for me to head off to the next class. And uh, see you in the next class, alright? Come on. <laughs> <laughs>